Hi, and welcome to Catholic Crafty Kids for the fifth week in Lent. So Father is still wearing purple in church, and we are still preparing for Easter. And as we go through the reading today, we see kind of a lot of themes there. There are, Jesus talks about, uh, for instance, the seed has to die before it can grow into something new. Uh, he talks about the temple. He talks about lots of different things, uh, and he's hinting at what's about to happen to him. So what we're going to do is a craft that kind of gets at a couple of those themes. We're going to take some things that look like they might not be useful anymore and repurpose them into something beautiful. And then we're also going to um, just um, throw in a reminder of Jesus' divinity. You are not invited, Mr. Kitty. Choo -choo. All right, so um, what, we'll, what we'll need is some crepe paper. Um, so if you are one of those people like we are, we just kind of save everything. We have all the, <laughs> all the supplies from birthday parties past and things like that. So grab some colored tissue paper. And then also um, you could do it with uh, Kleenex, but it doesn't work quite as well. You need something just a little more sturdy. Or, and these are much more colorful. So as many of these as you can find. And you'll want to make them into small pieces. We're going for kind of a stained glass effect. And then you'll need a glass jar or uh, glass of some sort, okay? And then um, just, I'm gonna use some white glue. You can also use Mod Podge. That works just great uh, to just kind of seal things up. So what you're gonna do, like I said, is you're gonna make small pieces out of out of the cray paper, and then you're gonna um, paint, you can either paint the, the jar with white glue, or you can just kind of, you put a little bit on your finger and make a spot, and then put your, put your cray paper on that spot as you work. And then what you want to do is you want to get that whole um, jar covered with cray paper. And what you probably want to do at some point is get um, is make two long strips and put a little cross within your design. So when you're done, it will look something like this. Like I said, you can kind of be creative and use a little cross on the backside. And you can kind of be creative with how big your pieces are and how you, you can tear them or you can cut them, your choice. And uh, I mean, lots of different colors, like I said, so you get kind of a stained glass effect. So once you're done with that, you want to let that dry. And then just for good measure, you'll probably want to take a paintbrush and paint one more layer of white glue or Mod Podge over it just so it's a little more solidified. It doesn't um, peel off quite so easily. You can kind of see mine is getting a little bit <laughs> there. I'll have to touch that up. Uh, so you want to make, maybe make it a little more permanent, okay? And once you're done with that, what can you do with it? Well, so many things. So uh, you could put candles in there. Um, you'll want to be careful if you're burning candles. Don't want to put any paper on the bottom. I've got some things in here. Don't want to put any paper on the bottom if you're going to use with candles. And you probably want to put it on another plate, a kind of a heavy plate. Um, you could use re real candles inside or you could use um, those tea, little tea lights that are uh, battery operated. Those would be even safer. Um, the other thing is this was uh, is what I do with them. I just use some beads in there to hold things steady and then you can use it as kind of a vase. So you can put your other crafts in them even. So there, like that, or little flowers or whatever you've got. So it can be used as a vase, like I said, or a, a candle holder, or just something pretty to put on the shelf. And it reminds us again, that things can be repurposed, that some things look like they're dying or done. And then they're also, they can be rebuilt into something beautiful. And also the divinity of what um, is about to happen with Jesus and his, um, his suffering for us. Have a great week.